Okay, so I was asked recently, this was on an Instagram poll, like how do you make sure that you do a speech that's engaging to your people who are listening? And sometimes you think, okay, I'm going to prepare this speech for these people, but you've got to do it the other way around, actually. You've got to think, who are the people who need to listen to what it is you're going to say? Then you prepare it accordingly. Don't prepare and say they'll listen to that. Think of who you need to speak to. So say, for example, a lot of my ladies are doing a lot of online training on webinars or whatever the situation is or online courses, right? So you've got to work backwards and think, okay, what is your product? So give myself as an example. I go and help ladies who are in business, whether they're in corporate field or they've got a, their own job or they've got a business or they're an entrepreneur and they also may have a side hustle, women in business or a corporate role, etc. And they have to speak effectively. Now, some women are really, really good at creating stuff, really good at sewing, really good at making stuff, really good at you know, designing clothes, but they may not be that good at speaking effectively in business negotiations. That is where Leanne, your fairy godmother, speaking coach, uh, big sister auntie comes in to help. So I've got to think, okay, who is the woman that wants to speak more effectively? Who does she have to speak to? So say, for example, we'll just call her Karen. She has a clothesline coming out, but she needs to negotiate to get this clothesline in an exclusive store in an exclusive kind of fashion area. Do you know what I mean? She's never done it before. What does she do? So what do you use your strengths, isn't it? So I would advise Karen, bring a couple of samples with you and your Instagram page. Make sure it's up to date as well. And uh, I agree, yes, with calling and emailing. If you don't get anywhere with that and you know where the shop is, go down there, get a face to face, show your face. Just say, like, listen, I've seen your shop. And you know, these kind of boutiques that have like all kind of independent designers. You go down there with the products, they can see and feel the difference in your in your product. So I'd say to Karen, take your stuff down there, let your clothes do the speaking for and you just kind of add on, say, well, my products are really good. I want to come in. I want to sell my stuff at this certain price. I'll give you this much percentage. You need to kind of go in there with the mindset of what you want to get out of there and who you're listening to. So Karen needs to go and speak to the shop owner, right? The end result is Karen wants to get her clothes in that person's shop, but she's got to think, okay, what do they want to hear? They want to hear the products are good quality. They're for a range of different clientele. It will suit who their clientele is for. The price fits their budget. Plus they can actually work and get their commission on top without it being ridiculously priced for their customer base okay so you've got to kind of prepare it thinking of what do they want to hear and then walk it backwards so they want to hear they can put their 15 30 40 percent um collector's fee on top they want to hear it works for their customer base they want to hear it's good quality they want to see the other work you've done you've got to tell them what's in it for them okay so it's not even what you say it's how you say it okay so that's what i was advising karen about so you've got to think who are you talking to do you know what their expectations? is? Because speaking, when you're trying to negotiate a little deal like that, you got to just manage, you know what your expectations, expectations are. you got to manage what the person who's listening, so that would be the shop owner in Karen's instance, what does he want to get out of this? And he wants good clothes, people are buying them, and he gets his fee, basically. So make sure that when you're speaking, it's going to address all of those parts. And you've got to keep in mind, what does your, speak, what does your listener want to hear what do they want to get from it what do they want to learn from it that's what you've always got to reframe because sometimes people are like i'm going to do training for 30 people on diversity it could be but you've got to think who is in the room who's going to be listening and you prepare it backwards a lot of people prepare stuff the wrong way where they think this is what i want to say you got to think okay what does your listener know or think they know or what do you need to add into what they do and teach them something new as well you've got to kind of prepare things in a different way and this comes from mindset before you've even spoken um so knowing who you're speaking to will really help fine tune the talk and less is more sometimes if you've said the point one two and three leave it as that do you know what i mean like if karen she's got to let her clothes do the talking um so you really got to keep keep your audience who are listening engaged and that doesn't mean talking for a long time that could mean you have a five minute conversation bold brief powerful make it happen like that you know and don't float off uh, on the phone or, you know, in fairyland or whatever it is, wherever, when you're in talking. Stay focused. That's why I always prepare these. That's why I prefer 
business meetings to be kind of like 30 minutes. I don't really want the long talk. I don't have time for it. What you can say can, can be done in, I mean, even less than 30 minutes because some people like to just talk about themselves a bit too much. I, I understand that because I can fall into that trap. But I think you've got to really always be mindful of someone's time and what do they want to hear and prepare your speech. Like, for example, Karen, she had to go in there with the free facts that that shopkeeper, the boutique owner wanted to hear by the time she finished talking and the conversation was obviously definitely longer than five minutes you know what I mean but um, she got the results she wanted she had her clothes in the boutique at a great price and percentage that she could um, still make a profit on and so could he and her products were selling and that's it win-win so whenever you think of what you're going to prepare if you've got to do a speech a training webinar whatever it is whatever your discipline is women you need to think who is going to be listening to this what do they want to know from this and that's how you prepare it not what you want to say of course we all want to know what we want to say but you got to uh, think of what does your listener want to hear how do they want to hear that how long do they need to hear that information for because some people have like you know videos they've got podcasts and they've got you i'm like you don't need 40 minutes to go and do that and when they have to come and check out the exclusive webinar and it's for two i don't have two hours like that because some people want to just take your time and it's not necessary if you can do it in shorter time just do it do not be kind of debaucherous with the words and stuff and you can kind of be boom 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 that's my a uh, tip that I give you today, know your audience, know what they want to hear and prepare it from what they want to hear, not what you want to say. There's a different twist there, it's a mindset twist there. So I hope that one has helped you.